S-Man 480V video number six. And as you can see, if you watch the other five videos, as we're progressively doing different tests and different procedures, you will see this is the lowest micron reading so far that we have achieved. Now, I have the valves turned off. And I told you in the last video, this test will be the manifold excluding the hoses. So I have this valve off for the low side. I have the high side off. And I made a mistake. I broke my valve when tightening it. I made an error in judgment. And this is the little rascal. And I'm ordering it from True Tech Tools. I'm getting a new uh, manifold repair kit. Uh, the valve kit repair kit when you overhaul them. This is brand new out of the box, but I broke it and uh, That's the first time I've ever done that and uh, My dad had me disassemble and reassemble and do val uh, do his refrigerant manifold gauges even the old simple ones Tiff and Robin air and stuff and uh, at 12 years old was when I started my lessons on air conditioning and After all these years, this is the first manifold I've ever broken a piece off of so I made a mistake and uh, I show you I don't edit out my mistakes I leave them in there so you could see what real world and even somebody who's been working on something into their whole entire life you can make a mistake and this is strong stuff I mean it's brass brass is not strong but for brass this is pretty strong so um, what we have going on here is the high side is now turned all the way down it's turned off so the hoses are excluded from this test and the low side is turned off. I have the vacuum source is open and on to the manifold. The micron sensor that is actually reading is located in the manifold and the hose is going down to the NAVAC uh, HCFM DC digital pump that has a solenoid valve. If, you, if somebody ever kicks your plug and unplugs it, it has a solenoid that will choke off the vacuum supply so you don't draw air in backwards through the exhaust, through the motor windings, back up and contaminate your system with air. It has a solenoid valve that will close when it loses power. So let's take a closer look of what I broke. Now if you remember back in the other video, you've seen these valves removed and taken apart and they were laid out here on my table on the towel. Well if you look really close, the valve is not screwed in. There's no force holding this valve, stopping the vacuum from going to this hose, out the port into this hose. Only the vacuum inside the manifold is pulling. Remember I stuck silicone around the O-rings in the last videos and I have silicone in there? So just the vacuum pressure, actually the lack of pressure. We live in atmosphere, we're at 14.7. I'm in San Francisco, I'm almost at sea level right here. I'm at 14.7 PSI per pound per square inch. Well, this manifold is under vacuum, so it's not quite a square inch, but basically there's 14.7 pounds of pressure pushing in, not pulling, not sucking, it's the pressure difference that is pushing this in and that little uh, white, it's not Teflon anymore, they're now made out of a polyester type material, nylon type material, seal is pressing under the force of vacuum, under the force of the atmospheric pressure pushing is the only thing, not me screwing it in and tightening it down using threads, but just the vacuum is pushing this in and doing a perfect complete seal. I don't have to screw, I don't have to pull. Right now under that vacuum, if I tried to grab a hold of that pin and pull that plunger out of there, I would not be able to do it because the vacuum is so strong in that little area and then with those two O-rings on, I would not be able to pull that out. I would literally have to turn off the vacuum pump and unscrew and relieve the pressure inside and then I could easily just grab that and just pull it right out. But under vacuum, it is self-sealing itself with the use of the silicone grease is making a perfect seal. No pressure, just sitting there sealing perfect. So 
Closed, closed. Now let's close the vacuum source. I'm gonna let this sit overnight without pressure on here. This might not be the greatest test because of pressure. Let's see if I eat my words or if it is perfect, it will hold and no vacuum will get by that silicone grease and no vacuum should bleed down here because there might be enough pressure and because it's a brand new valve, if it's perfectly seated, it would have hit its seat and with a little bit of silicone grease that's on the end of the seat that I may have gotten in there with my fingers, it might seat perfectly and not bypass to the hose. This will stay low all night. So let's shut off the vacuum and let's see how good. Okay, vacuum is off. It's not going up. It might go a little bit up by tomorrow. And let's come down here and kill the pump. Okay, so the pump is dead. You can hear a little bleed by there, but if you kick it off, kill the power. A capacitor keeps this light. I have it switched off right now, but there's a little bleed by back to the LA. Now I heard a click. And the click was the ceiling of the solenoid inside shutting off the vacuum so air cannot bleed by and lose your vacuum into your thing. So if you were doing an HVAC commercial unit on a rooftop and say you have a new young apprentice with you or there's some carpenters there or an electrician guy, somebody didn't know and they unplugged your vacuum pump and you had it going for four or five hours pulling a perfect vacuum and somebody killed your power regular vacuum pumps a lot of them the air will go right back through the exhaust come back bleed through the motor come back up and go all the way in your system and completely contaminate your system with moisture laden atmospheric air this pump won't let that happen so here we go uh the time i think is about 7 35 i believe right now almost eight o'clock 7 30 somewhere around 7 35 right now p.m I think it's Monday <laughs> and uh, we're at 13 microns and holding and there's no valve screwing down tightening this this is only held in under vacuum pressure so tomorrow morning when I leave for work about 6 30 or so 7 I will take a video of this and let's see where this is tomorrow morning this could not happen without adding the silicone grease on a set of gauges. Right now, this is about as good as you get and holding and not moving. Only after doing the modification process of adding silicone grease. Let's see what happens tomorrow. See you guys.